my friends. Welcome to a new and exciting episode of The Dean's List, where if you can fish, for your viewing pleasure. It's a good day, my friends. It's Friday. God made it. The sun is shining on us, and we're out here, right? Very good. So... We're going to do something very interesting today, my friends, a fish I've never done, not even heard of till like a week or two ago. So this is black throat sea perch, right? Uh, from this company, Yamatsuki Gourmet, the same company I did the Kobe beef. I just thought this was interesting because the fillets look very interesting to me. Um, it looks like they have a tail still on them. So I don't know what black throat sea perch is. It said it's like a sweeter fish meat. This tin feels a little light. So I don't think it's a very big tin, but that's okay. You know, this could be exquisite stuff, my friends. You know, I'm going to show it one more time. I, all right, that's right side up. I'm not great with Japanese, my friends, you know, Spanish. Uh, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> yeah, I can't do the rest. So anyway, let's see what's going on. I'm so very curious. I, wow. I don't know what this is, my friends, but this is very interesting. So hopefully this shows up well. Uh, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. These are like these little fillet things with tails on them. This is interesting, my friends. All right. So I don't know what to make of this. Can people see this? This is like a, a filet with a tail. Um, that's it. That's the whole thing. And maybe there's like 10 of these in here. Um, my friends, we're just going to go for it. I don't think I'm going to eat the tail for whatever reason. Uh, bismillah, my friends. Mm. it's pretty good it's salty it said salt grilled so um i would assume that's why i wonder if these tails are soft maybe i should just try to eat a tail mm. the tail doesn't seem bothersome i can't tell if this this might have bones in it still we'll just try a whole one right my friends This is pretty good. Remind me of something like mackerel. That's the only thing I compare it to. It's a white fish. Neutral tasting. A little salty. So maybe this would be better if you were eating it over rice. Because it definitely has a salty taste. It definitely has a salty taste. But I'm saying I find this very interesting. You know? Japan has a lot of cool products. And there's another interesting one. I just bought it because of how they looked on the tin. So, in saying that, this is, um, I've never seen fish filleted like this, my friends. You know, I, I'm curious as to how big or small the fish is before this happened. But the tail's not very big, so I feel like... This will probably only be a five or six inch fish by its nature. I feel like I mean like shrimp cocktail or something where you like eat the shrimp, chuck the tail. Shrimp's like the only shellfish I'll really eat. I'm not a big shellfish fan, my friends. Lobsters and crabs. I'll be honest. They look like sea insects to me. I'm not mad at you if you eat them, but I'm not eating them. Maybe like a crab cake once every five years or something. And just because it was offered to me, I wouldn't even order it off a menu. This looks like the biggest filet in here, my friends. I, I don't even know what to make of these, but it's cool. I'm cool with it. Um, Yeah, it's just little whitefish filets. It definitely has skin on it still. I don't know if there's bones in here. I'm not detecting any. So if they are, they're not very noticeable. But I feel like the way it's filleted, it looks like it will be deboned. 
But again, I don't know. I don't know. But it's Friday. It's a good day. God is blessing us, my friends. He's blessing us so much. He's blessing me so much. Sometimes I have to give some blessings away. They're just falling from the sky on me. But this is a cool little tin. I have um some mackerel from this company. So I'll try that. And salt grilled salmon. So maybe it's done in this same process. But obviously it's salmon. So. I'll be trying those on the channel too. Just because um, I find all this fish interesting my friends. I find it so interesting. That I could eat fish from Japan one day. Latvia the next. Spain the next. Portugal the next. Poland the next. You know. Um, tuna from Italy. Wherever I want. Wherever I want. You know, sometimes you have to remember, my friends, we're out here living like, I mean, 17th, 18th century em emperors could not live as good as you could live right now. You could get a pizza, you get olives from Spain, you go to a Mexican place. I mean, Genghis Khan didn't have that many options and he conquered the world. Something to think about, my friends. So be grateful that all these things are made available to you. And don't be ungrateful because you'll never get anywhere with that attitude, okay? That's it, my friend. I saw these little tails. That's it. Just a little tin. Very reasonable. I think it's somewhere around eight, ten bucks. I don't know if this will be like something I'll throw in the stash. But I'm saying that I'm not mad I bought it. It's very good fish. I like salty stuff. This is a little salty. But I'm not mad, my friends. It's a good day. We got our omega-3s in. Vitamin D. Maybe calcium. So, on that note, my friends, may God keep blessing you. And may you realize that he's blessing you. All right? All right. Stay up. Peace.